Hello, my name is Scott Coulthorpe, director of Trek Nation. You're watching The Director's Log, a series of videos related to Trek Nation. Jessica Bernetto was the head editor of our feature-length version of Trek Nation. Jessica is an established editor and a dear friend. Her work has appeared at Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, the Venice Film Festival, and on network television. She is most notable for working with Michael Moore as an editor on Capitalism, a love story. Jessica Bernetto's editing prowess can be appreciated in the following scenes from the feature-length version of Trek Nation. Thank you, Jess, for putting your heart into everything you touch. Of course, my favorite characters were Spock and um, Nurse, uh, uh, Nurse Chapel, your Nurse mom. Nurse Chapel, oh my god. And goodness. so it's your dad, your mom, and, and Leonard. Those three are the, are the greatest. Star Trek came into my life like all of a sudden. I mean, watched it the first time and I was hooked. I was adopted and I was illiterate before age eight, uh, nine, uh, couldn't read at all. Here was this closed off little kid. Through my watching Star Trek, my mom found an inn, the logic. And again. Once she got to appeal to the intellect, she could start to break down that wall. And then she started reading to us. Right away, I just started reading every book she had. Star Trek actually gave me a chance to grow up to be a normal kid. I have cerebral palsy, which is a birth defect. I always had physical limitations, you know, and with Star Trek, with a lot of the episodes, a lot of the shows, the concepts were related to being able to overcome limitations and to be able to achieve. Um, for me, that was an important philosophical outlook to carry on throughout my life. Are you going to any surgery conventions coming up? Um, I'm a physician. I'm an emergency medicine doctor. And one of the first times I thought about being a physician was when I saw McCoy. Seeing him treat his patients with the passion that he did, seeing him that he even lost patients because he, he was, at the end, human, made me realize that that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to be a physician. Every time I saw one, I thought to myself, damn, this is good. Countless people have written about spaceships and other planets and battles in the cosmos. But your father did it from the point of view of the character's perspective. First, you had to know the characters. You had to care about the characters. You had to be involved in the characters and understand the characters and worry about the characters. Then he came up with a story for them. Something the matter, Mr. Spock? And I would say your father was a master at that. He used to talk about how, you know, he got to know the characters by writing questions for them and then answering the questions. And when they started asking him questions, he knew that the character was developed. Coy loved people. Spock loved logic. Kirk was his libido. You know, they were all aspects of him. Rod Serling set the tone for dramatic writing in, this, in, in television. Carl Reiner set the tone for comedy writing. And Gene came along and his writing was different. He was a philosopher. Gene opened up the world to a whole new area. Follow Trek Nation on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, or Google Plus to be the first to know when a new episode is released. And please share these videos with the rest of the Trek Nation.